Hello guys and welcome to Substance Football. My name is Sub and today we have something a bit different. Along with the tutorials, hacks and reviews that I do on the channel, another thing I want to explore on this channel is kind of discussion topics. So things around football power obviously, so things about innovation, some of the marketing decisions and things of that ilk essentially. And this is what we're going to do in today's video. I guess you know me giving my opinion on these kind of topics, I guess you could say it's Sub's stance. So the topic we're going to address today is the myth around if you play a certain position you have to wear certain boots. So what I'm talking about is if oh, I'm a winger, um, I have to wear materials or X's or, or I'm a centre back I have to wear Predators or Tiempos. Like I find the whole premise ridiculous, I'm pretty sure a lot of people do, maybe I'm speaking to a minority here but this is a very widespread thing as well um, where you see articles, where you, you overhear conversations in stores um between retailers and or customers saying oh what position do you put when they're asking about boots and stuff like that like it's a whole a lot of it's just market employee but there is like a lot of it has become widespread and it's part of people's thinking when they come to buying when it comes to buying full boots for example and then even so there's like even stigma towards certain boots in certain positions so say like this is a real thing i joke about it all the time though but say you're a center back who wears materials like people will think you're an unserious candidate. Um, to be fair, there's very strong evidence to support that one. You got the likes of, well, I'm not gonna name names, but. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> In this video, I'm gonna talk about where I think the whole kind of stigma or the kind of myth came from and some of the kind of hypocrisy from brands to show that even some of the stuff that they're kind of exhibiting doesn't make sense. So when it comes to the sources of myth, what we have to do is look at the big brands. So your Nikes, your Adidas, Adidas sorry, uh, almost an American, and your Pumas. So the way they market their football boots, they do it in a very clever way. So they'll use the players they're sponsored with to manipulate you to thinking that certain football boots are for players who play in certain positions, which... It's just, it's just like, it's just like wrong. This is wrong. It's like in the early 90s how everyone who liked basketball wanted to get Jordans because they thought it would make you play like Michael Jordan. I think Nike even at the time said play like Michael, get like Mike, that kind of slogan going about. So it's that kind of premise. Um, once you got your Jordans, I guess, to them make them play better, maybe for a few games, but that I think was just down to placebo more than anything else. And that is literally most of the time the case with football boots. Now let's look at a case study that kind of highlights the hypocrisy from brands when they market football boots in this way. So let's use, for example, the Hyper Venom Phantom line. Um, personally, my favorite boot, and I think in my honest opinion, no biases of course, even though I've just said it's my favorite boot, is Nike's best football boot of all time. So let's just look at that. It was launched in 2003, the whole Hyper Venom line, and it was released with the tagline, a new breed of attack. Okay, so absolutely, they only use like attacking players in their um, promotion material. So the likes of Neymar, Ibrahimovic, Lewandowski, Alexis Sanchez at the time, Wilma, and Wayne Rooney, yeah that's another one as well. So, so by this, you'd think, oh Nike made this boot only for attacking players, so Nike themselves would only give it to their sponsors who are attacking players. Well, that's not really the case. Um, if you go out through the history of the boot itself, you'll see that several players who aren't playing in attacking positions also were the, or given the boot as well. Um, so you've got the likes of John Stones, even Asmir Begovic as well, they were both where they both wore hypervenoms. So surely if Nike have put it out there to the rest of the world that oh this boot is for attackers, why are they themselves now giving the boot to players not playing attacking positions? Suspicious. That's weird. Now does that mean that Nike gave the players the wrong boots? No, it just shows that Nike themselves don't believe what they're saying and the concept of boots made for certain positions. Maybe they have certain positions in mind, but the fact that because you're now playing in a certain position, you have to wear this boot, blah, blah, blah. It makes no sense whatsoever, you know? So like, you know, if I'm a center back wearing my cures, is the referee gonna stop me from playing? No, like it makes no difference. Also, for those who actually need to hear this, really, if you need to, uh, I'm not even gonna go. If you, I'm just gonna say anyway, if a defender now wears a boot aimed for attackers, they do not now become better at those kind of things that they, boot had in mind for those attackers so like you know show accuracy or being whatever like that kind of whatever nonsense they've said yeah that does not now mean the defender becomes better at those things yeah so this might be hard for people to accept here but football boots do not make you a better footballer in any way shape or form 
you know they don't make you faster they don't make you strike the ball harder and they don't improve your first touch all of that is your own ability if FIFA now turned around and said every single footballer had to wear the exact same pair of boots would the quality of football change absolutely not like the yeah. boots you wear makes very little difference to your actual performance I mean if everyone wore the same boots maybe for boot, football would look a bit less maybe a bit more dull but really injury the quality of the football you're watching is not really going to change I think about it, the whole idea that football boots can now improve a certain aspect of your game based on the specifications or whatever they've said is like football's not an RPG you know because I'm wearing um, F50s or CTRs I'm not going to get plus five passing attributes on whenever I play football you know football that's that's not how football works you know they're just a pair of boots at the end of the day they have certain things that are like oh that's cool whatever blah 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 but at the same time when you play football it's always down to your own performance your own ability and no football is gonna change that whatsoever if anything like if you play better when you get a new pair of boots or whatever that is just all placebo it that is literally it's your own psychology it's your own mindset nothing else so the best example for what i mean by that is let me use let me use the whole silo of speed boots that's probably the best and clearest example you're going to see so with speed boots they're always being promoted more in the kind of offensive attacking sense okay but you hardly ever see it with like promoting defenders and the thing with that is speed is advantageous to every single position that you play in a football match if you have an extra burst of pace or whatever to beat a man whatever in any position goalkeeper center back whatever whatever is going to help you out a lot but you only ever see it being promoted in the attacking sense why is that so it's quite simple really um football is a sport and like most sports sport is about winning and to win games of football what do you need to do score goals someone tell out to make out a um so yeah when you sell a product saying oh this boot gives you a help in a burst of speed to beat a defender to score a goal it's a lot easier to sell and romanticize than oh give you an extra burst of pace to make that last stage tackle you know <clears throat> once it is it goes you see what i mean like one's very easy to romanticize the other one's like villainous almost like defending is seen as villainy in football even though attacking and defending is just part of the game you know like you need both to win a game but you know you only ever see one side of the spectrum even the boost that you see a lot of defenders where it's still they're still promoted using attacking players so um the likes of Ruben Diaz he wears phantom GTs so does Kevin De Bruyne who do you mainly see you hardly ever see Diaz on the promotional cover well you're obviously going to see De Bruyne it's De Bruyne but like you don't see many defenders alongside De Bruyne when you see the marketing team. same thing with the Predator you'll see more attacking players wearing the Predator rather than you see the centre-backs who also wear it, like the likes of Alaba who's one of I think I would like to think one of their biggest assets I added us but well he's not not to scale up all over but like you know you don't see him as much as you maybe should do it's always a plethora of attacking players that you do see even for like, the boots that defenders wear now the whole kind of position thing for boots like i think the only defense i can actually see for oh if you would play a same position you should wear a certain pair of boots is that oh if you're a defender maybe you want to wear something a bit more padded that's more protective you know because you're going to be going into tackles etc so you want something that will prevent foot injuries that's the only kind of defense everything else is just like marketing um rubbish in my opinion now all i'm saying is that no matter what position you play it does not matter what boots you wear please do not listen to what these brands say all they want is your money at the end of the day when it comes to boots as long as they're comfortable they look nice and you get a good feel of the ball when you're wearing them that's really all that matters when you're wearing a pair of boots you can be a goalkeeper wearing mercurial you can be a center back wearing X's, you can be a striker or NC Ampos, it literally makes no difference as long as they feel good on your feet, in my opinion. That's the only thing that actually matters. I'm pretty much done wanting now as well. Um, that's pretty much it for the video. I'm probably speaking to a minority of people with this topic, but it's a real pet peeve of mine. The idea that certain boots can only be used for players in certain positions is just a ridiculous premise to me. Because um, you never really see, oh, boots can be used for any position. You never see that. You just like, you just wear them you know what i mean so like please don't believe in this nonsense so yeah like i said this is it for the video let me know your thoughts do you believe that because you weigh we play a certain position that you wear a specific pair of boots if you do let me know if you don't 
you know let me know as well like always if you thought the video was sublime like the video if you thought it was a part still like the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well don't forget to follow me on all my socials they'll be on screen as well and don't forget to check out my podcast with my friends el rondo that will also be on screen and once again my name is sub this is substance football thanks for watching peace out